Welcome back to Oakhaven. I thought I'd take you on a journey with me uh, on a little project. Um, for Father's Day, uh, my daughter gave me this North Spore Blue Oyster Mushroom Kit so we can grow our own Blue Oyster Mushrooms. And uh, I thought I would uh, take you along with us so you could see how it works out. So we're going to just give that a try. I'm going to open up the box here. Supposedly within this box is everything we need to grow our own mushrooms. So we have instructions and a sprayer. So in here is a, is a massive <laughs> bag full of uh, organic material and then it's got the mycelium of the mushroom that's growing through here that we're going to encourage to, to fruit and send up the, uh, um, the edible mushroom part. So, we want to close this back down. And they say to cut out this front panel here. Actually, dotted so that uh, I could probably just tear it out. I wouldn't need to have the, the knife. Okay. So the instructions say to take this off, to cut through the plastic, and to mist it. So we're going to take it, and you can see what it looks like at this point. We're going to cut an X through the plastic. And we're going to take a little mister and we need to get some water in it. So the instructions seem pretty simple. Inside this box is an amended sawdust block that has been completely colonized by mushroom mycelium. Open the front of your kit along the perforated line and dispose of the remaining cardboard. Slice an X into the plastic underneath with a sharp knife or scissors. Fill the sprayer included in your kit with tap water and spritz the plastic where you sliced your X shape. So we're supposed to spritz it two times a day, then within about two weeks, it will start to show mushroom growth. We'll keep up on that and keep you posted. So we're checking in on how our mushrooms, our blue oyster mushrooms are growing. These are from North Spore. Now, if you look at this, it's pretty impressive. Okay, blue oyster mushrooms, when they came out, they were a little blue on the caps. Um, but let me explain a little bit, let me go back a little bit. So we did this about three weeks ago or so. And after two weeks, we started to get little pins, little baby mushrooms growing out, just a few of them at the base here. And I wasn't sure exactly when that would be ripe. So the instructions say to harvest them before the cap uh, gets concave, before it flattens out and gets concaved. The pins are kind of rounded. I kind of feel like the pins were always a little concave, so I was kind of waiting. So I thought this was going to grow into something bigger, and it didn't. Um, so these, this is from the original pins here. And after about a week of me not harvesting these, <clears throat> we had new mycelium that was growing out and covering over these mushrooms here. And then after a little while, that mycelium fruited again, and we had all of these little mushrooms that popped out. So it's pretty impressive. So, but it's all, at this point, it's instead of growing on the, the, the base medium here, it's growing on this... Uh, the, the mushrooms that I didn't harvest. So we're going to harvest this, and then we're going to try it again um, and see if it will continue to, to uh, put out new, new fruiting bodies. Well, it's been a week since we harvested from our, our North Spore Blue Oyster Mushroom Kit. Uh, at that point, we cut off everything that was growing on the front, and since then, it has grown a whole nother batch here. So this is the third batch that we've grown. Very interesting to me that... While all of them are, you know, noticeably oyster mushrooms, they've all looked very different. Um, this one has more of a, what I would think of as a traditional oyster mushroom look with the, the, the current uh, gills running down the, the um, stems. Um, but this has just this beautiful white uh, color here. Um, so we're going to 
cut this off and harvest it. We will probably continue to uh, to mist it and see if we can get another uh, another harvest out of it. But it's been pretty impressive. So if you're interested, um, we'll put in a link to to North Spore. Uh, we don't have any affiliation with North Spore. This was just an interesting project. Uh, if you if you're interested in mushrooms and growing mushrooms and just mushrooms in general, it's a little more comforting to to grow mushrooms that you're going to eat from a box rather than uh, harvesting them out of the woods. Uh, but very positive experience. I think it's been very interesting. So thanks for coming along with us.